America has a lot of coal. You know, we're, we're the Saudi Arabia of coal. Yeah. If you've ever been to the Powder River Basin area in Wyoming, it's hundreds and hundreds of feet of coal. Yeah. It's easy to get to. You take a big bulldozer up, put it in a truck, and put it on a train, and deliver it to the power plant. So it's, it's available and it's inexpensive. That's the pro of coal. The downside is it takes a lot of coal to make an equivalent amount of electricity. And it has a lot of carbon and it, it releases other elements into the atmosphere that are harmful. The new coal plants that we have in Texas, and we've opened two or three of them lately, capture almost everything. The bag houses and the scrubbers and the filters grab the NOx the SO2, they grab the mercury, mm -hmm. the particulate matter, almost, they get almost all of it, mm -hmm. except the CO2. They don't get the carbon. And if we're going to do something about carbon as a nation, if you believe that that is a worthy objective, mm -hmm. then those plants are gonna have to be retrofitted with some kind of technology.